Hi YouTube, welcome back to Tractor Talk with Gary. Last fall, before we had just a non-stop weather issues here in Iowa, I did a video on the modifications that were done to my 22 ton Husky log splitter. And what I found was by having to deal with the size of the material that I've got here, it took three guys and it was hard work. Now, thanks to Lane Frieden from Frieden Welding in Elgin, he designed a boom that is welded to my beam on my log splitter. And we fashioned a hand crank winch with the cable that goes out through the pulley system here to my logging tongs. And what I do is I walk out with the logging tongs and I hook on to a chunk of wood that I want to split. We'll do that right now. We're going to pull this one in. Now these tongs have really sharp replaceable points on these. And all they have to do, place them on the wood, and when I tighten up, they should, if all goes well here, bite in to that piece that I want to split. And once they bite in, they will not come out unless they tear loose from the bark or they get slack like I'm getting right now. But one person can crank this. I don't know what that weighs. There's no way I can begin to pick it up. But one person can crank this right into place into the splitter, pretty simply. And what I like to do, once I get it in place here, we're not quite there, I've got to be on the foot. But once I get it in place, I like to leave just a little tension on the cable. And then I will split. It won't go all the way through in the first time, usually it won't. And this is pretty knotty, so it's, it's not going to go all the way through. But then what I can do is just start kind of walking this piece around and when it, it'll get to the point where it will not hold together anymore and at that point I can handle it. But at this point I can't. This has really, really made this so much more simple. We've done some other modifications to it too. This, this is a cheap splitter. It's got a Briggs and Stratton engine. It isn't even a commercial duty engine on it. And it had a real light duty tongue on it and at first thing that got bent so Lane also from Freedom Welding made me this box tube welded my little pin on here so that I can lock this down in transport when I'm in the horizontal position because this is both ways horizontal or vertical but this little 22 ton splitter does a fabulous job after all the modifications that has really made this a a pretty nice machine into a phenomenal one as far as I'm concerned. It, uh, I don't have a lot of money in it compared to some what some of the log splitters cost and uh, although it's not fast, it's fast enough for one guy, especially this old guy. Anyway, thanks for watching YouTube fans and uh, if you haven't done so already please hit that subscribe button, like these videos if you like them and feel free to leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.